Hi, I'm Michael Wood. Today we're going to be talking about how to create pacing guides using the Odysseyware learning management system. Now, pacing guides uh, help solve a particular problem. So, let's just say the course designer has a student making up or uh, taking a few classes in Odysseyware and they have the pacing set up as follows where they'll be taking Algebra 1, Semester 2. Then, when they finish that course, they'll take World History Semester 2. And when they finish that, they'll take English 9, Semester 2. Uh, so, the course designer estimates that each will take three weeks or three months or however uh, length of time you determine. In another situation, you might have the courses stacked where a student is taking two classes at the same time. In this case, they would be taking Algebra 1 Semester 2 and World History Semester 2 at the same time. And then after a predetermined time, such as three weeks or three months, whatever, is decided, they would then begin uh, future courses. Now, that all sounds fine, and uh, it's pretty easy to come up with those static pacing guides. However, as we know, in the real world, things don't always work out quite so perfectly. For example, let's say you've scheduled the pacing guides where students should be finished with Algebra 1 second semester by a certain date. And they just take a little too long. So this course suddenly gets stretched out a little bit. And so that pushes the next course out. Uh, because they weren't able to finish in the time given. And so this obviously is going to affect your pacing. Um, or let's say they finish one of the classes early, and maybe they can finish World History in three weeks, and now you want to get them started on English 9 semester 2 right away. Okay, So there's a lot of different situations that can happen here. Um, maybe you want to take Algebra 1 Semester 2 and stretch that all the way across the semester. That allows them to just take maybe two or three lessons a day in Algebra 1 because it is a more difficult course. Whereas English 9 Semester 2, you want to allow maybe half the semester to do that and you're going to expand world history to of a half semester type of class. So the point here is that th the course designer sometimes has to make adjustments to the course, whether it's the beginning or the end date or the length of time of that class. Now, one thing that Odyssey does very well, Odysseyware, is it does do a good job of cre automating the pacing guide. But what we want is a product that both the parent and student can look at and know exactly what assignments are due each day. But more than that, allow the course designer to change the course uh, length and course pacing and to be able to dynamically create new pacing guides depending on the situation of the student. So that way in the end they get the credits that they need but we're still being sensitive to student abilities. So to do that let's go ahead and jump over to Odysseyware. I'm going to go ahead and go to the course enrollment. This is where we determine those beginning and end dates. So I'm going to put in my sample student here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and enroll him in a course. So let's go ahead and give him a, uh, we're going to set him up for a Civil War class. And it's going to begin uh, tomorrow. And I want him to be done by December 19th. So we're going to leave all the other settings alone, and we're going to go ahead and add enrollment. So the good thing that Odysseyware does is it automatically creates a, a pacing for us. 
And so to pull that up, I'm going to go ahead and go to reports. I'm going to go to student lesson plan. And I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, the menus till I find that student. And I'm going to look at that Civil War course. And I'm going to go ahead and create a CSV file. Um, let's look at the PDF real quick so you understand what the reports do and don't do. So here's a PDF of that student's lesson plan. Okay, so it has the teacher, the course, the unit, the assignment, the assignment status, the due date, and the completion status. Okay, so here you have a full student lesson report, but I just feel like it's a lot of redundant information on here. Like we don't need the teacher's name, you know, every single time or the course name. Um, and also, it's many pages. I mean, this pacing guide is at least six pages. So it, although it does give me some quick information, um, I don't think it's very useful for students and parents. Okay, so as you can see, the PDF does provide quite a bit of information, but I need something a little bit more stripped down. So we're going to click on CSV. And that's going to allow us to edit the document in Excel. Now, this seems like a lot of steps, but once you've worked with, you know, 100 students and you've done this 100 times, it can really be done in just a few minutes. And it's well worth the effort. So here's the CSV file. And as you can see, it's got a lot of information we're just not going to need. So I'm going to first thing off, first, first off, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of these beginning columns, all of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, then I'm going to shorten up the units. So this is just basic formatting to make it look nice and readable. We're going to stretch out the assignment so I can see that very clearly. We don't need the assignment status. I'm going to get rid of that. We don't need the completed on status. We're going to get rid of that. And so we're left with just three columns, the unit, the assignment, and the date. And then I like to add the title here at the top. So in this case, this is the Civil War class. And then you could format it you know, as you see fit. So I like to have things centered, bolded. I then like to take the entire uh, chart right here I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to highlight this section. And I'm going to go ahead and add all borders within Excel. So now it's going to be more readable. Another tip, and this does take an extra minute, but I like to go ahead and delete uh, or clear the unit numbers. And I like to go ahead and uh, just clear that out. And again, it's just a personal preference, but this makes it easier for the students to see where the unit breaks are. So I'm just going to clear that. Um, you can do this instead of right-clicking. You could uh, press Delete if you're using Windows. That does the same thing. So there I cleared out all the unit numbers. Okay, then... If you're going to print this out onto one page, I found it useful to go ahead and go to the fourth unit. I'm going to highlight this section. I'm actually going to cut it. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right next to it. And I'm just going to make some quick column adjustments right here. Uh, Again, this can get a little tedious, but if you've done it a hundred times, it's really not that bad. So here we have um, a nice printable uh, pacing guide. And so as you can see, it shows you each day what that student is responsible for accomplishing. With the student starting on 1121 and finishing by 1218. You can send this home with parents. They can see the student's progress very clearly. You can have students sign it. 
You can discuss the pacing guide with students. Again, just very useful in so many ways. And so um, if you're going to go ahead and print this, make sure that when you print it, you want to go ahead and check off that you want it to all fit on one page. So I'm going to scale it. And as you can see right here, it's scaled to fit on one page. And you can go ahead and print that off and even save it for future reference. OK, so that's how we make a pacing guide from Odyssey Wear. Now, in this next section, this is kind of a bonus section, you might want to share this uh, with parents using Google Docs. And what's great about that is it gives you the ability to mark student progress and for parents to be able to check that progress at any time. Now, I understand parents can go through Odysseyware's uh, parent portal, but what my experience, a lot of parents, um, you know, they forget passwords or they don't always know how to log in. Uh, but one thing they do know how to do is check their email. So as long as they can check their email, we can give them access to a very um, dynamic pacing guide. So what I'm going to do is um, I like to... When I'm going to convert this to an online document, I like to return it back to its original one column um, state. That way it's easy for students and parents to see the progress of the class. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save as. I'm going to save it to my uh, computer here. Save as Civil War, and make sure you save it as an Excel workbook. Remember, the native format will be in .csv, so go ahead and save it as an Excel workbook. It's going to be a lot easier when you import this to Google Docs or export to Google Docs. Okay, so we saved it to our desktop. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to um, our website. So what you're going to do is log into Google, into your Google Drive. Okay, so here I am in my Google Drive. I'm going to press the Upload button, Upload File. I'm going to find it on my computer right here, Civil War. We're going to open it. And we want to go ahead and check this box, Convert Documents, Presentations, Spreadsheets, and Drawings to the corresponding Google Docs format. Yes, I want that checked and I'm going to start the upload. Okay, should be pretty quick. It's now been uploaded. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so here we have the pacing guide that's actually online. And what I like about this is as students complete different units, I can highlight those on a daily basis. I like to highlight gray what they've done, and then I can highlight in yellow what, need, what still needs to be done for that day. And this is a very easy way for parents to see um, the progress of their student. Now the next thing you need to do is go ahead and click on the share button and I'm going to invite that parent to here. So I'm going to go ahead and invite them. Now this button I don't want the parent or even the student logging in as a parent and making changes. So I'm going to make sure I lock it to where they can comment or you can just put view if you want. And we can add a message. This is a pacing guide for Victoria. So you can add any message you want us to do. And I'm going to say share and save. So at that point, the parent will receive the link to this document. And they can check it at any time to see their progress. Now what I like to do is if there's a note you want to send to the parent, instead of having to write a separate email, all you do is you know update the pacing guide each day. And I'm going to go to File, Email, Collaborators. And I can go ahead and say, um, you know, go ahead and put today's date, meaning that uh, the pacing guide has been updated today. And I could say, 
whatever message you think is appropriate. Victoria has completed her unit test and is ready for unit three. Please help her this weekend. Thank you. All right, so whatever message you want to send and just press send. So what's nice about that is you didn't have to write a separate email. In fact, when they receive that message, you're going to get a link to this online pacing guide every time. So they can't forget where it was or forget the link. They'll always get an email with that uh, link to the pacing guide. So that's how we create dynamic pacing guides using Odysseyware and then using Google Drive to communicate with parents. Thank you.